Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. Dot com. In this video, we'll discuss how Resource Manager allows us to manage the disk I.O. in pluggable databases. This can be useful to stop a small number of pluggable databases using all the disk IOPS and bandwidth on the server. In Oracle 12.1, there was no way to control the disk usage of a pluggable database, which meant one pluggable database could affect the performance of all the others on the server. Oracle 12.2 introduced the ability to control the disk I.O. used by each pluggable database, allowing us to reduce the problems associated with noisy neighbours. In previous videos, we discussed the control of CPU and memory used by pluggable databases. Links to those videos will be in the description box below. From Oracle 12.2 onward, the following parameters can be set at the root container and pluggable database level. We can set one or both depending on the requirements. Max IOPS represents the maximum number of IO operations per second for the PDB, regardless of how big those IO operations are. Max MBPS represents the maximum megabytes of IO issued per second for the PDB, regardless of the number of IOPS issued to reach that figure. When setting the root container, they represent the default values for all pluggable databases. Setting them to zero at this level disables management of the resource. When set at the pluggable database level, they override the default settings. Setting them to zero at this level will mean Resource Manager uses the default settings if available. Let's try setting some values for these parameters. We connect to the root container and set default values for all PDBs. Resource Manager will now manage the disk I.O. usage of all PDBs based on these defaults. We switch to the first pluggable database. It's already constrained by the default values set in the root container, but we set pluggable database specific values to override the defaults. Resource Manager will now limit both the IOPS and bandwidth used by this PDB for the foreground processes. We switch to the second PDB and set different pluggable database specific limits for this. Once again, Resource Manager will now control the disk I.O. based on these limits. Oracle provides views to monitor the resource usage of PDBs. The views contain similar information but for different retention periods. The $RSRC PDB metric view contains a single row per PDB holding the last of the one minute samples. The $RSRC PDB metric history view has 61 rows per PDB holding the last 61 one minute samples. The $RSRC PDB view holds cumulative statistics since the CDB resource plan was activated. The DBA HIST RSRC PDB metric view holds the AWR snapshots retained based on the AWR retention period. Access to AWR views require additional licensing, so don't use them unless you are licensed to. So from Oracle 12.2 onward, we have full control over the CPU, memory and disk usage of pluggable databases. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.